What's up, welcome to another video and today I'm going to show you how to add or install plugins to Avil Studio. So right now I'm using Avil Studio 21 and I'm going to install this free plugin from Unison the Zen Master. The process is basically the same for a Windows and Mac computer. So if you're using a Windows computer, make sure to just watch this video. So when you download the file for this plugin, make sure it's a PKG or an EXE file. Or maybe it's a zip file and you still have to unzip it. And then there should be those two types of files. So just double click click it so you run the installer so make sure to install every one of these these are just a type of vst and you don't want to miss out on anything to prevent any errors and then you will install the files to the installation location you could change the installation location which we could select later on but in this case i'm going to install the vst in the default folder so right now the installation is finished and you open up Apple studio and then you simply navigate to the left top corner to the menu panel and then select add and then select more plugins then the select generated plugin will pop up and then you're going to select manage plugins so right now the Apple studio plugin manager has opened up and this is the program within Apple studio you're going to use to find the plugins so there is this button on the top left corner which says find install plugins so this way Apple studio is going to scan all your installation folders so at first these will be your default installation folder so if you've added a manual installation folder you could simply add them by using the plugin search path and then select this plus button this folder and plus so right here and then you could simply select for example disk 3 or another drive and then select this one and press open and this way Apple Studio knows where to find you've installed the plugins because it's not going to scan your whole computer and then let's discuss the options within the plugin manager so make sure to select for five plugins this will prevent you from any arrows when searching to new plugins and then scan options so i've disabled rescan previously for five plugins because if you've already scanned them there will be a file added to the apple studio default folders so you don't have to do this over and over again so if an error occurred like for example right here you don't have to rescan these plugins the error will continue to occur try to prevent pop-up windows i've not experienced any popping up windows when scanning to new plugins so I will just leave it disabled. And then the final one, combine VST and VST3 versions of a plugin. A VST3 is basically a newer version of a VST. So it's basically a newer file format. So that's not a problem when FL Studio will combine them. So right now let's find any install plugins. So as you can see right now, the Unison Zen Master popped up. And then the next step is to basically select it. Make sure you select the VST3 version and then you simply favorite it. I will now open up plugin. And when we select it, this gives us some information about the plugin itself. So it says that the status is okay. It's an effect. So sometimes when Aval Studio looks for some new VSTs, it will say it's, for example, a synth but it's an effect, so make sure to prevent this. And most of the times this error is caused by not verifying new plugins. So make sure to enable this one. So right now it's effect, the vendor is Unison, and this is the preset file name. So that's why you don't have to scan new plugins over and over again. In this folder, there is added a file which remembers the information about the plugin. And then we could add a category. So I will add Unison because I prefer to have all my plugins organized by vendor. So it's very simple and easy to find those and then make sure to apply changes and that's basically all you have to do so right now you want to open up this vst in apple studio so you go to for example the mixer then you select insert one slot one as you can see right now the plugin is added to vendor unison Unison Zen Master, and there it is. So we've successfully installed a plugin to Apple Studio. And that's it for this video. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments and I will answer them. And I hope you have a great day and create some awesome music. See you.